What is happening, gamer guys, gals? My name is, and forever will be, Cody Storm. Today, I'm doing a gaming review. The first game we're doing is Limbo. Uh, I got five different categories I review it in. Sound and music, graphics, gameplay, online split screen, and storyline. Yes, I know, some games aren't meant to have a storyline. Some games don't have online and split screen. If they don't have a storyline, I rate the gameplay out of 20 instead of 10. I'm rating everything out of 10 just to make it a 50, but yeah, no storyline to get a gameplay. It all depends on the gameplay, really. So let's get right into it. The first thing on our list is sound and music. Well, as you could tell, there's no sound. Well, there's a little bit of sound, or a little bit of music, not much, but it's mostly just scary sounds and... I mean, you can hear the footsteps, you can hear the spider attack the ground and everything, the bear trap clothes. I mean, that's all great and everything, but just on sound and alone, I believe I gave it a 7 out of 10. Yep, 7 out of 10 it was. Um, I realized that these are supposed to be cartoon graphics, so that's I'm not rating it like a Call of Duty type graphics would be. And still, for cartoon graphics, it's not that good. All you really see is black and gray. And yeah. So, for cartoon graphics, I don't have much else to say. I mean, I like the background. The background's pretty cool. And yeah. But I gave it a 5 out of 10 for graphics. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, online and split screen. In my opinion, guys, a game has to have at least online. Or at least split screen. You can have two people playing this game easy. You can have two people playing any game. Uh, Storyline's a zero, so I'm gonna be rating the gameplay out of 20 for that. But I did have a lot of fun playing this game, I have to admit. It's a fun little puzzle game. I had a little trouble finding getting my way out of a few puzzles, but other than that it wasn't too bad. The gameplay itself I rated out of 18 out of 20. I love the gameplay. There was only it was a super easy game. The pick up and go, three buttons. You only move, you jump, and you grab items and pull it or drag it. Uh, it's not for a younger audience because it's a little more of a darker game. As you can see, my guy is wrapped up in a spider web, and there's a part in the game where you're walking across the bridge and the bridge collapses and then. You, a rope is hanging around this guy's neck and you could just you hear the neck snap and it's just I wouldn't recommend it to a younger audience it's just not to me teen for teen but overall it was a pretty decent game I had fun playing it I only played it for two hours so I have a two hour time limit for each game I play and I probably Got about halfway through it, I'd say. Maybe three quarters. I definitely would go back and try to get the beat it again. Um, <coughs> yeah, so out of 50, I gave Limbo a 30, I believe. Yes, I did. 30 out of 50. It was a decent game all around, honestly. It's a little darker. You'll see a spider be chasing me in a second or two. But yeah. And that spider goes with you through quite a bit of it, actually. And then you end up killing him. Spoiler alert, sorry. Um, yeah, it wasn't a bad game. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed playing it. And I, like I said, I'm going to definitely go back and check it out. So let's move on to the next game. Well, let's get on to the next one, guys. It is on graph. Uh, the sound music possession really well. I love the music for this game, guys. It's just a really upbeat kind of music. Right now, actually. Um. Yeah. So sound of music. I. A nine out of ten. Graphics. Oh, graphics are really good, considering it's not. Supposed to be real graphics. Well, yeah, I guess it could be real graphics. 
Anyways, for graphics, I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. Not bad at all. Like I said in the previous game, online and split screen does not exist in this game. It would be so much better with the split screen. You could easily have somebody along with you. Have a blue on Ravel Gun. Sorry, I don't know what his name is on my hair. Um, there's not much of a storyline. So, yeah, I'm gonna be ready to game play. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, zero for storyline, zero for online. 19 out of 20 for gameplay. Gameplay was really well. I love the puzzle action game. I love puzzle games. It's one of my favorite things in puzzle games. But, um, I loved how you could use your string as a rope and propel yourself down and swing across and grab and make, like, different, our little trampolines, like, and make little, like, Ah, so you can bring stuff across. It and yeah, it's a super fun game. It's rated uh, E for everyone, I believe. Not a hundred percent sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, oh, on Ralph, <laughs> he's just so cute. Yeah, I, I like how you can like you run out of string, so you can if you miss like a bunch of strings. Out the back and get a tangle up a little bit. Just like that. Um, it's a, not a hard game, but it, it's kind of tricky. It's not, it's not not hard, I guess. It's more if I can't really play that any better. I'm gonna die a couple times in this very this year. I thought it was small to get through there, but I guess not. And then I died like another time. Then. It wasn't too bad, I swung across these trees with the and everything. The lightning, it was really cool to see the lightning strike. Oh. This game was really well put together game. I have to admit, I really enjoyed playing it. Definitely gonna go back and uh, beat I've already beat it guys, so honestly. To tell you the truth, I've already beat this game once and I will probably go back and beat it again, honestly. I had so much fun with this game, and I didn't collect all the little badges that you can collect. I I was just wanted to be, be the first shot through, but yeah, I had so much fun with this game. And I really wish they would make another one. Honestly, I would be the first one to the online play. Hey, you see me die there again? But yeah, so I out of 50, I gave this one a 36.5. Really decent game. Not the best game in the world, but by all means, nowhere near the worst game. I highly recommend every single one of you go check it out. I think it's only like $20. It might be cheaper now. I downloaded it a while ago. So. Yeah, definitely recommend you guys check this out. It is a really awesome game it's for all ages. Some of the puzzles might be a little bit tricky for a younger audience, but I think they can figure it out through trial, maybe parents help or so. Let's get on to the next game, shall we? And now we're on to Halo 5. Guys, you got to think I'm a little biased because I love the Halo games. I've been a fan of the Halo games ever since the original Xbox. That's what actually got me on. Xbox is because of Halo. <clears throat> so yeah, I think we should get right into the video, but you guys should definitely watch this trailer. It's probably one of my favorite, one of my favorite gaming movies ever, gaming trailers ever, sorry. Just, I'm getting excited, so I need to calm down a little bit. With Oni to know the truth. Um, let's go, first we'll do with sound and music. Once this is well, over. I love the Halo music, the oh, 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 that kind of music, that, that's awesome. I love that kind of music. Just for that music alone, I'm giving it a 10. But 
the sound is also amazing. The lo loading of the guns, the shooting, everything. Amazing. And the music in this game. The graphics, look at, look at the graphics. The graphics are amazing in this game. One of the best graphics I've seen in a while. I'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10. The graphics. I'm just trying not to be biased, guys. I'm trying not to be biased. This game is just an awesome game. I love this game so much. 9.5 is never for graphics. Five colonies Online splitting, it's 9 out of 10. I Master wish they had a few more modes. Infected is probably my all time favorite mode on Halo. She claims to have information on these attacks. You don't have to be good at Halo. All you do is is currently in covenant custody. You go with shooting a shotgun. Only with the shotgun, the aliens are dead. It is um back to infinity. Storyline. Storyline is a ten for you guys. Ten a ten storyline. If you have I mean, the opportunity, look at this. Look at this little trailer at first. There's so much action in it when they jump out of the plane. Affirmative. Say so, um, before we make this jump. <clears throat> Anybody want to say a few words? Gameplay itself, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10, guys. This game, I've been, I love Halo, and I know a lot of you guys will have problems with driving the Warthog, just to get used to the left stick to move forward, backwards, and the right stick to turn. I'm used to that now after <clears throat> playing all the Halo games. So yeah, I kind of like that. I mean, it is rated team. I don't consider it bad for younger audience. It's probably just because some of the aliens might be a little scary. The game itself might be a little harder for the younger audience, but other than that, it's... Contract. I don't have a problem with this game at all, guys. Like, like I said, you guys are going to think of buys. There's going to be so many comments about Call of Duty and how it's better than Halo, and you know what? That's your opinion. I love Call of Duty myself, but Halo is probably one of my favorite series of all time. It's just amazing. The storyline, everything is amazing about Halo, guys. Anyways, out of 50, I'm giving Halo a 48.5. It's it's gonna be one of my best reviews in a while. Um, at least until I play Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, I bet you that was my favorite. I love face and yeah. So I plan on doing a video of that in the future. Look at this! Look at this! This is amazing! Like I don't even know what to say for this video. Like it's just so amazing. Anyways. Game of the week is definitely Halo 5 Guardians. I recommend every one of you check it out. It's great a team team. Like I said, it's not that bad. Maybe if you aliens are scary, but yeah. Anyways, I think that's all I got for you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next video.